Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Ta programa tamas prosferum poles glosses para calumedite suprememastertv.com cathetos schedule. This whole eye take care. Now you have to take care your mind, your character, your heart. Because it's possible that even though you became a Buddha, but your mind has stood still for a while, rusty, and you forget to be vigilant, to be master of the mind, yeah? Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, Danish, Dutch, English, Finnish, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Nepali, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Happy to see you, elegant viewers. My name is Muhammad, and I proudly represent my father's Pakistani heritage. Our charming people wish for your lives to be full of laughter and inspiration. The name Pakistan means land of the pure in its official language Urdu. This South Asian nation comprises of three areas, the Northern Highlands, the Indus River, and the Palochistan Plateau. The Northern Highlands contain five of the tallest mountains out of 14 in the world. This has earned Pakistan the fame as the rooftop of the world. Each year, thousands of adventurers and mountaineers from all over the world are piquant to challenge its peaks. The spellbinding beauty of the plateau of Pakistan is breathtaking, as seen in the Hunza Valley, which is mostly covered in snow in winter, but when it melts in spring, beautiful, abundant vegetation is unveiled. During winter, a hundred thousand birds fly down to Haleji Lake from the cold of Siberia making it the largest bird sanctuary on the continent. Pakistan's richly diverse topography has produced an immense biodiversity of flora and fauna, which include 177 mammal species, 660 bird species, and 6,000 native species of flowering plants reported in the flora of Pakistan. 96% of the country's population practices Islam, making it the most observed religion in the land. In fact, the nation was formed in the name of Islam in 1947. Pakistani are benevolent and intelligent by nature, probably due to the nourishment of this cultivated and resplendent land. It is a delight to briefly introduce fascinating Pakistan to you, blessed viewers. We pray that you feel Allah's love in all that you do. For over three decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings, a fully enlightened master. 
She imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within and to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters such as the worshipped world honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, the first Sikh Guru Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji and many more. She emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. Supreme Master Ching Hai is an extraordinary living example of compassion, regularly sending material and financial assistance as well as love to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years, as a humble vessel for her compassion and love toward her precious children. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments and individuals as well as many awards from them such as the 2006 Gushi Peace Prize considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994 the Mahavir Award in 2008 February 22 and October 25 both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
we apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Qinghai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Qinghai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Qinghai promotes the peaceful and loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life. A tranquil and glorious all vegan world where animals and people live in blissful harmony. Her initiatives to spread the vegan trend are diverse and have included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food product companies, vegan for products, Supreme Master Television as well as regularly speaking to influential governments and media leaders and participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Over the years, Supreme Master Qinghai has traveled worldwide from the Americas to Africa, from Europe to Oceania, and held hundreds of discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today we are pleased present one of these insightful lectures entitled Master the Mind to Fully Manifest Buddha Nature, Part 1 of 3 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on March 3, 2005 in Hungary. I thought I look good because of the dim light in my trailer. They give me only like uh, 300 watt or something. And if I got electricity for heater and cooker and all so the light is not bright. So I thought I was good looking. <laughs> Food is good. <laughs> doesn't look like the one that I knew. <laughs> it's okay. You guys all right now? Yes. Oh, wow. Do we still can house all these people? <laughs> yeah. The bathroom still can accommodate. <laughs> you don't know. Apart from generosity, we have many other things. You know, especially karma. You have to take care all the way. Yeah. If not, it doesn't work. Where do I put this? Here? Right here. <laughs> Technical problem. Oh, maybe it works here. No, it doesn't. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> They don't always work, never mind. I probably have to design some new earrings, you know, with the microphone <laughs> chip attached to it. Which is a, a joker, you know? Yeah, ah, that's the best position. Why didn't I think about that? 
Electricity, you know, <laughs> and even though we have high voltage, <laughs> a lot of money to pay, but we spend too much watts around here, especially winter. Winter, we need a lot of electricity, yeah? So we spend a lot. Oh man, so cold. Uh, originally, this farm has enough, yeah? But now we need a lot of of, of uh, this kind of thing, yeah, radiator. And if we put gas, it's good also. But then either it's noisy or it's glowing, and also a lot of buying, hey? Yeah. We could also have a big gas tank, but they didn't do that, yeah? And uh, if the bathroom is full, we could have somebody come and take it away. It's, it's technically, it's not always good. Eh? I prefer to see you, but sometimes it's, it's difficult. Yeah. So do not try to bring more people here when not necessary. All right. It has nothing to do with love. Okay. It has to do with technic <laughs> technical problem, <laughs> even with such a thing as bathroom and toilet. Yeah, which we. Sounds very spiritual. <laughs> yeah, it's not very spiritual things, but you know we have to take care of them so that the spiritual aspect can also be taken care of. Just uh, some of the people don't listen, you know. Call everybody. Number one, low level, no good. Number two, you know, technical problem. All right. I give uh, give people here a break. Give the staff here a break. Yeah, don't do that. All right. If there's a more chance, another chance, I let you know. I always do. Yeah. Do not try to force your will upon my will, and do not try to force problem into this center. Understand this? Yeah. Yes. Whatever I have approved, it's okay. Harmless for you. But uh, if somebody else come here, it's not up to the level, yeah? And we have the gift and all that. I told you, if somebody below the level, they're still on the negative side. And if I give them this power, it's like giving power to the negative. Do you understand or you do not understand? Yes. I told you not to call other people at home, yeah? The people I already approved can come. First, because we don't have room. Second, for the level. The technical problem, yeah? You don't force things upon me or anybody when it's not possible, yeah? And you break everybody else as well, yeah? You never use your position for selfish ends. Understand this? Otherwise, you're doomed. You're bad in bad shape, bad shape. There's a difference between love, yeah? And just uh, want to be a good guy. Yeah, and I'll be the bad guy, or he'll be the bad guy, because tell the people no. Whoever I approve, I take responsibility, and we know how many people can fit around here. We don't have enough staff, we don't have power, manpower here. You do know all that, you all know that, right? Even if you are high level, you have to train your mind. Understand this? You're high level because God's grace, yeah? It's not necessarily always it's your merit, okay? I try many different means to lift you up, and you know that, yeah? Just like you earn money yourself by your intelligence, by your diligence, then you have money, you have one million dollars. On the other hand, somebody else rich, he's a zillion dollars, you do something good for him or he just feels generous, he gives you one million dollars, you don't have to work for it. 
But it's still money. It's valid. It's all the same. But be careful how you spend it. Yeah? Don't use it for a bad end. And have to train yourself to use it in a different good way. Similarly, even if you are high level Buddha, you still have to be aware. Yeah? Because you still can fall. I would not like you to. But it's up to you, eh? It's up to you how you spend one million dollars, eh? Nobody cares, but you will be in trouble if you waste it. Yeah? I'm home all day, eh? I'm right here. But can you imagine? I've been busy all day long calling and uh, meditating. Meditating not even for the universe. I'm meditating for some problem. Okay? Some very physical and stupid and nonsensical problem that the Maya have caused me. Or not caused me, but caused some of the other people near to me or some of the pets or whatever. You understand? They use them always because they're lower level and they always get them and then they get me. And sometimes I'm more tired uh, solving this small petty problem than uh, doing other work for you. You understand? Say so it's not you or just uh, mostly from the low level karma, yeah? And it, it gets me any time. It's kind of a, it's silly though. <laughs> silly but the waste a lot of time, yeah? I could have come here, talked to you, yeah? I, instead, I'm on the phone and I meditate on the problem and see the future, what's going on, what to have to do. This way, what consequence, that way, what consequence, this way, what consequence, that way, what will happen? Yeah? There are many ways to solve a problem, of course, and I have to see which every of them, and it takes some time. Physical problem, for me, take longer time to take care than spiritual problem or any other problem, yeah? yeah? Anyway, so I didn't see you, but I always remember you, eh? I know you are here. <laughs> I wanted to see you all the time, but just up to now, up to this last minute, I'm on the phone, busy, okay? Call in all directions, solving different problems. And then meanwhile, I have to meditate. Now, I just had my breakfast. <laughs> breakfast there is just 6.30, yeah. Well, it seems like morning, 6.30 p.m. <laughs> yeah, but that's good. I just want to tell you I'm busy, huh? really busy. I didn't ignore you, yeah? I know you came from a long way and I'm really, you know, uh, longing to take care of you. Yeah, just sometime it's not possible, yeah? And tomorrow morning maybe I have to go all the way until afternoon. So just meditate. If I'm not here, I'm always with you in my heart, all right? I'm only one, okay? I cannot delegate too many things. And if I delegate to some other people, they mess it up as well, you know? I cannot delegate everything. Very little thing I can delegate. So spiritual uh, issues, for me, it's easy to take care. It just the Maya always makes some different problem. No? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I will take care of it. Don't worry. <laughs> it just happened that you are here and I'm sorry that I don't see you. But if you're not here, I always do. You know, always a lot of problems. One soap, another come. One soap, another come. And I don't even have a chance to stay anywhere too long. Uh, Jesus said uh, the birds have their nests and the beasts have their den, but the Son of God has nowhere to lay his head. It's, uh, it's almost true. Well, I have a pillow though, but <laughs> yeah, you could take it everywhere, no? But I, don't, I couldn't even have a pillow for a long time. Uh, I have to have this small luggage, can't even take a pillow. So whatever, yeah? As long as I can see you, I'm fine. You know, I don't mind. It's just you don't mind if I don't see you the whole day, okay? Uh, not that I neglect you or I'm fed up with you or anything. Nada, okay? Not like that. I love you very much. Yeah. Thank you. You came a long way and I, I'm just a little upset because we don't have a better place for you. A little upset. Yeah. And then you have to sit all day or night in the same place. I'm, I'm upset. 
I cannot tell you a lie that I'm happy about it. I'm not at all. Yeah? But that's the way it is, okay? If you're tired, just, just go sleep somewhere, no? If you can bear the pen, just go in the pen. If you can bear a trailer, go trailer, yeah? My trailer, no, eh? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> uh, anyway, you're too late. The dogs already. <laughs> oh, they booked their place already. <laughs> yeah. They complained before you. Oh, they got it. Yeah. <laughs> Complain does, does pay sometimes. <laughs> There's a person from uh, Finland. Uh, Finland. You just arrived this afternoon. And the other guy just arrived too. How are you? Okay? What are you doing in your center, or in Austria? In Austria, I'm a farmer. Yeah, and then what else do you do? I mean, for the center, for the people. For the center, for the people. I don't know. For what your... they want. Huh? What they want. No, in center. Are you helping or anything? Sometimes, yeah. yeah sometimes. What I'm kind of farmer are you? Organic farming. Ah, so do you sell it to the center, to uh, the people? As well. I don't bit? sell it, I bring it to the center. Ah, oh, good, good. And they can take what they want. You just offer? No uh, cost? No cost. No. Wow, okay. Good for you, good investment. <laughs> <laughs> and the other guy, what do you do in Finland? I am studying in Finland. Huh? I am actually I'm Estonian, but I'm just... Uh, you what? I am Estonian by nationality, but I am just living in Finland and I'm oh. studying there. Okay, Estonian. Yes. Where is Estonian, by the way? <laughs> Estonian? It's just next to Finland. Estonian, but where? Near Baltic countries. Yes, yeah, one of the Baltic countries. Very small country. Estonia, Latvia, near Russia. Near Russia? Yes, yeah, yes. Between Russia and Poland? Yeah, okay. So you live in Finland all the time? Like five years. Since five years? And you became Finnish? No. No, you're still Estonian? Yes. Ah, okay. But you don't look pretty heavy, eh? Hey? don't look like a stone. <laughs> <laughs> Estonian, I know. Estonian. <laughs> Sounds like stone. <laughs> Never mind. You're good, you're good. It's good. I hope that the Buddhas, the new one, will try to serve people more. Humility does help a Buddha, even though he don't need it. Does help. Because if you let the arrogance come to your head, if you work hard and everybody worship and respect you, and you suddenly become a little bit too confident, yeah? The mind, eh? The mind, eh? The mind has is never gone to the fifth level, understand? Can never. The mind of our brain? No, the mind is not the brain. But the mind works through the brain, and that is even worse. <laughs> so it's not just that you have uh, some billions points, you become Buddhas, and that's that. Yeah? You have to remember to refine your character. Yeah? And to train your mind to be efficient in every way is possible. And to direct the mind always into service. Yeah? Unconditional love. It's not because you scold your dog, you don't love your dog, eh? It doesn't mean like that, yeah? You have to do what you have to do, no? It's not a way, yes, 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 and humble, humble, that's not it. You have to have everything. You have to have a mighty determination, yeah? Like a lion. And you have the, to have a very loving heart, so soft, like a feather that every little thing moves it. Understand? And your mind, your determination must be like a mountain. Once you decide it, you know what is good, stand by that. Yeah? The soul is okay already. The soul, I take care. Now you have to take care of your mind, your character, your heart. Because it's possible that even though you became a Buddha, but your mind has stood still for a while, rusty, and you forget to be vigilant, to be master of the mind, yeah? 
the soul must have taken care and go up. You know, even stone can be taken care and go up. It doesn't matter. Not much to be proud of. Now you know fifth level is nothing anyway. That's why Buddha confessed that he is only human like everybody else, and he became Buddha. Then everyone else, all his disciples, will also become Buddha. But that's it. It's just like in a university, one smart student a picked, chosen by a professor to help him sometimes with the homework, yeah, and uh, to uh, explain some um, uh, subject, yeah, when the professor is not there. That happens in university sometimes, yeah, so you know it, all right? Which is good, but even then it's so rare. Remember only three? No, now four, one more from France, and now one more from Finland, and one more from Austria, oh, Estonia. That's another Buddha, the only one female, and the whole is a male kingdom, look at that. Congratulations. Gratuliere. Felicidad. <laughs>